I seem to have trouble dying. By all rights, I should not have lived this long. I am Aminata Jalo. This is the book of Negroes by Lawrence Hill, a Canadian author, and it's historical fiction. It's a first-hand account of a woman named Aminita Diallo, and it follows her life through um, the 18th century and through like her struggles of the slave trade. She faces a lot of adversity throughout her life. First of all, she's kidnapped from her village, from her family. She's taken on a slave ship with, with, with like multiple slaves, um, many of them who actually die. Finally, when she reaches America, how the slave owners choose her, um, what it's like living on the plantation. And when she gets to America, she has to find many long years of captivity. Yeah. And her ultimate goal is to return to home. her home. She uh, loses many people that are so important to her, and she just remains very strong throughout it all, which is very unbelievable. I liked it because, in. like, in our history classes and, like, in Canada, we don't really, we're not, like, touched by slavery. Like, that was a big thing that happened in the States, but you don't ever find that. It's, like, a big thing that's discussed. And I like the book because I actually learned a lot about what happened in the slave trade. So how they were, how the slaves were actually taken from, like, Africa to America has always been a question that I've had. But, like, to see it step by step because we're, like, reading about how it actually happened to her and just, like, her journey. So I thought it was really interesting and taught you a lot about history. Yeah, it's not like he made it up and just made up these details. Obviously, there's a lot of research oh, yeah, put into sure. it that like, made it so detailed. Yeah, that is like one of the other things that you you're so attached to the book is that it's not real, but the way he writes it makes it yeah. feel like it's real. So yeah. real. It's really yeah. personal. I mean, coming from a third world country, I know a bit about slavery, so I knew like the details of what she was talking about because. I've had people, oh, I've had like people in my family tell me stories about it and I've spoken to the people who were, who were involved in slavery. I thought that somebody from Canada writing about it, it's like pretty cool. That shows that, you know what, to some, like, to some level that there, there are people that are actually willing to understand what. Yeah. It's just amazing, like every time like something big happens to her, like that a time that she should have died, you're just like, you know that she survived, so it just makes it so much more exciting because you're like, how is she surviving this? I would recommend this book just mostly because, especially in Canada, where we don't really like discuss um, American history and the slave, the slave trade was such a big part of the world's history. I think it's interesting because it gives like a more personal perspective on what happened in the 18th century and like the barbarity of it. You always hear that slavery was a thing and it happened, but like there's so many gaps in the stories. You never like, especially us. Like she said, being in Canada, we don't really learn about it. It's like you always wonder how it happened. Um, and because it's her like writing about her own life story, it's very real and legitimate. Um, so you get to learn about how she was actually taken from her village, what the boat was like to America, what she went through, what all the slaves went through, how much of a struggle it was for all of them. So I just learned a lot about what happened in history. She is the reason to read the book, like who she is as a character, yeah. and, like what she represents. Like I think that's like the most important part. She's just such a strong like person like it's so crazy to imagine that she went through all that and that she still survived and like she never pities herself which is so refreshing she well. understands the uh she understands the opportunities that have been presented to her yeah. like she grasps every opportunity it's so crazy that in this book reading is such an important part of her life and like can strongly be attributed like the reason she survived for us it's like reading like it's like a chore it is a privilege and like a gift for her the moral of the story is read, read books, <laughs> read, okay? Yeah, true. It, read reading books. is a good thing. Start you'll get one. educated and you'll be able to <laughs> say nice words <laughs> and you'll be really smart. So you should read a, start Which, with this one and then read right? more books after.